Jeez, another heavy box. Welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. What I got today, something all of you should have if you own a computer, a TV, or any kind of electronic equipment that you don't want to go down. So, last week I had a power out outage and my cyber power 600 watt one over here failed. That's why I've had it for a while and I like their products. I actually buy them quite often, but it failed. My computer shut down. I booted it back up. We had another power outage and it failed again. Now, I have sensitive data on this. I, you know, I run a company and I run QuickBooks and stuff and I just don't want my uh, uh, computer shutting down like that. So I went ahead and forked out 150 bucks to buy this cyber power 1500 volt, 900 watts, if I got that correctly, uh, battery backup with surge protector. This one's the real deal. It's a lot more expensive than this one, but uh, it's gonna handle what I what I need. I have a PlayStation, a computer, two monitors, and you know speakers and some other things that uh, I need to plug in. This one also has 12 um, uh, ports, so that's perfect. So I can. Uh, this one only has six down here. Um, the battery died on this one, so I'll uh, I'll probably change that and use it for something else. Probably like my um, my Intel NUC or something like that. But. Let's get this one unboxed. I'm really excited to see what this one can do. And then uh, we'll set it up, uh, plug in the USB so it can actually shut down my computer, and then we'll run a test on it. I believe this also is intelligent. I don't know if it has a Ethernet port, but I know for sure it should have a USB. So like I said, it should shut my computer down automatically. So we'll run all that, we'll test it, make sure it works. You guys stay tuned. Uh, uh, this is gonna give me a hernia again. No. All right, let's start the unboxing, my favorite part. Okay, I'm getting better, I'm getting better at unboxing. All right, yes, yes. What we got there, something's poking, and manually. Oh, it's cool, at least it came with the USB cable. I'll be needing that. Styrofoam out of here. Yeah, yeah. These things do weigh quite a bit. Let me just get it out. Oh yeah. There we go. Get the front wrapper off like so. Right, so let me uh This front screen there. Display, mute, you have two buttons and then the power button. 1500 volts, 900 watts. On the back here, look at those. Uh, surge plus battery on the left and on the right, looks like just surge. You got one, two, three, four, five, six for surge uh, in battery and just six regular surge. You got a reset button, coaxial in and out, uh, network in and out, and your serial and your USB. Pretty simple, everything I'm gonna need. So all I'll need is a USB cable like I had before, and we're gonna download the CyberPower. I believe I have it already installed, but the CyberPower uh, management software. And then we'll plug in all my devices here. Any uh, extra ones will go into the, these slots here, the ones I don't mind going down. But network, monitors, um, computer, probably PlayStation, anything important will be here. Uh, whatever, like speakers and stuff like that will be on this side. So let's put this underneath my desk, and then we'll turn it on. We'll hook the USB up, and then we'll go from there. Alright, don't mind my crappy cable management. Let's get these unplugged here. We'll get, let's get everything on out of here. Like I said, here's my old cyber power 600. I'll change the battery one of these days. Now this one I can slide just like this. I'll keep it like this so you guys can see. I'll zoom in, keep the cable management together. 
just like so. I'll eventually, after I'm done, I'll slide it like that. But let me get a, actually, let me get everything plugged in first. All right, so everything I want to do, I'll uh, organize the cable management later. Let's go, all right. These I all want plugged into the battery. And we'll run a battery test to make sure it can handle everything. And it better, because I paid $150 for this. So this is a monitor, I want this on here. And then this is, I don't know what that's for, AC adapter. What are you for? What do you do? This one is my speaker. Now the speaker can go over there. And this one, I hate the sideways ones. I hate the sideways ones. Let me see if you can fit there. No. The sideways ones always ruin stuff. You know what? Sideways, you're gonna have to go here. I don't really need uh, the internet to be on. Oh, that's for my light. That can go here as well. All right, so the light, my network adapter, my switch, pretty much, um, and speaker can go non-surge. My two monitors and computer uh, are actually gonna be on the battery, so that's good. So next up, Let's get the USB. We definitely want this plugged in. And then I'll show you guys my computer. And we'll run a couple, I'll download the software. There we go. Just bring this up through my computer here. Plugged in like so. So all right, so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. Boom. All right. Let's power on. Great display. I like it, I like it. All right, so showing 119 volts. Let's just play with this here. So load capacity, battery capacity, normal input 119 volts. Display, 60 hertz, perfect output, 119 volts. All right, uh, how much kilowatts, volts, amps. Cool, cool, cool. Estimated runtime 834 minutes. Now let's start powering some stuff on and see. How about the computer and the monitors? See if we can get anything. All right. It's obviously going to start dropping down. Showing my kilowatts. I got to say, the LCD screen looks really good. Our volts are going up as my computer boots on and the monitors kick on. This is just the enter or mute button when the alarm goes off, I guess. I like how I just kept it nice and simple. Uh, let me just read the top part here. Uh, it says the UPS is designed with a safety finisher to prevent the UPS from powering on during shipment. Before you can turn on the UPS, you must connect the UPS power cord to an AC adapter outlet to change the battery. The battery will charge whether the UPS is on or off. Charge the battery for at least eight hours to ensure maximum battery power capacity. You will not be able to start the UPS using battery power if the battery is not fully charged. Awesome. Power on. Press and hold the power button. Power off. Oh, that's what I did already. So cool. Let me just log in here. Is logged in. 
All right, so that's pretty much all we have to do here other than me clean up my ground and get some better cable management. I'll do that in a little bit. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and move to the computer. I'll uh, use my computer software and we'll take a look at the battery software. Run a couple tests all and right, then we'll so let's go ahead and go over to Stay my tuned. computer here. There we go, and I'm uh, just go ahead and swing over to cyberpowersystems.com. That's where I am now. I'm just going to show you around the page here, just show you that uh, the, the different um, products they have. Uh, the PDUs, UPS systems, surge protectors, and racks. Uh, CyberPower, I really like their products. I have at least, I think I have three UPS systems with them. So let's just go ahead and go up top to support and software and just click on the software button and then you're just gonna to want to click on the power panel personal and just find out which operating system you're running and then just hit the download tab so they got Windows Mac Linux I'm using Windows so I'm gonna download that now and then just click the download button and then hit save file now I already have the program downloaded and installed from the last UPS I had so I'm just gonna cancel this close it and open it up right now so here's what it looks like. You just got a home uh, page there, which just shows our voltage is normal, everything's running good, our battery status, how many minutes, and our UPS load um, in watts, and that everything's normal. So everything looks good here. So let me just go ahead and switch over to the next tab, and that's just energy reporting. Um, your energy settings, you can configure your UPS uh, schedules, um, notifications, this one's really cool, you can actually get a notification if um, the power fails and it's on battery power. I use this at my shop, so it's really helpful. I won't really need it for my home computer though. Um, keep computer running or preserve battery power under the runtime configuration. I'm actually going to set this to one minute here, preserve battery power, and then shut my computer off. You can set the UPS uh, voltage if it goes over or under a certain amount of volts to shut your computer off or to um, enable battery power. And self-test. This is the one we want here. So as you can see, it says not passed. I ran this test yesterday or the day before, and it did not pass. So I knew the batteries were bad. So I'm going to run this now, and let's hope this passes. And if it does, we know that these new batteries are good to go. All right, so battery capacity is 100%. Estimated minutes is 69 minutes. So if this passes, we should be good. And I should be able to run my battery. All right, and it passed. So this is exactly what we want. All right, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys here. It's just a shutdown type. You can uh, mess with this yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it anytime you guys watch my videos. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I got more videos in the works coming very soon. All right, I'm going to end this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.